हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्टेप कैंपस दिस इज क्लास सिक्स एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट हाउ टू राइट अ लोकेटर ओके सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू यूज आई डी लोकेटर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज सी एस एस एक्स पाथ एंड एक्स पाथ ओके सो लेट्स गो टू द वेबसाइट फर्स्ट ओके नाउ वी हैव सक्सेसफुली इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस ई मेल नाउ वी विल मूव टू दिस पासवर्ड पार्ट ओके सो इंस्पेक्ट दिस वन सो यू कैन से हेयर वी हैव क्लास ऑल्सो एंड हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव आईडी ऑल्सो ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट सी एस एक्स पार्ट ओके फर्स्ट वी विल सी एक्स पार्ट देन वी विल गो विद द सी एस एस ओके सो गो टू द टेक्सट फर्स्ट वी विल सी लाइक हाउ टू राइट द एक्स पार्ट ओके हाउ टू राइट एक्स पार्ट ओके सी सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल ओके so we have to follow some syntax so what will the syntax for writing x path will be uh, double slash okay it will be a backward slash and then we have to give a tag name okay then we have to open one bracket square bracket and then at the rate attribute at the rate not uh, space okay attribute equals to its cor correspond value inside a single quotes okay okay so you can write single quotes Uh, here and this will be going inside the double quotes as we seen in the id right so like this way only it will go so either you can give a single quotes and this value should be in double quotes or you will write uh, sing uh, like like this way see if it is a single so single then you have to enclose it in a double quote okay first or if you write in a double quotes inside this okay double quotes inside this value then we have to put single quotes outside okay whatever you want you can do so this is a like i normally prefer this type of uh, coding so this is fine for me okay and i hope like this will also work for you so just try this one okay so let's this is a sim, uh, syntax we can say let's just uh, uh, we will uh, create one x path okay for this password block okay go there click on password okay so just control f so that we can Uh, enable this uh, text box and we can write our x path so what i told you what i told you uh, we have to click double slash then we have to give the then we have to give the tag name tag name is input tag name is input okay slash slash input we have to open a square bracket at the rate then attribute see what is attribute okay so again select this button okay what is the attribute so attribute see what is starting from uh, this tag na so this is a tag okay with this symbols the first uh, string we can say is a tag okay and after that is the attribute and its value so here type is an attribute password is its value class is an attribute and this value is a attribute of the class sorry a value of the class again name is the attribute and pass is the value id is the attribute and pass will be the value okay like this way at the rate attribute so suppose here i am just check taking type at the rate type equals to its correspond value inside single quotes and close the bracket okay so value will be password okay type value will be password see one of one matching okay so this is a unique we can use so this is a uh, uh, css okay uh, sorry xpath yeah so go to that editor okay and then here we will write driver dot find element by dot x path okay just follow the syntax you can get easily what i am writing okay inside double quotes we have to give this value okay and what we have to give inside this password we have to send some value right so we have to write so dot send keys okay and then we have to pass the value so for this uh, for this one i am just writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is a dummy password and dummy email id okay this is not a correct one but yeah for the learning purpose uh, we are just taking this okay just save it now okay just give some slip as well so that we can see each and every steps okay now we will see the last button that is login button okay 
click there now we will use now C, uh, css okay id is okay xpath is okay now we will see the css how to use the css so xpath and css are very similar okay i will tell you how okay see how to run css okay css means css selector okay so don't be confused between the css and css selector both are same okay how to write so just see these things okay i am writing this xpath again here okay so if you want to change uh, xpath to css now so you, we no need required of this double slash okay we don't required of this tag name tag name is optional you can give also and you don't uh, and you don't give as per your choice and we can't use this at the rate but now this is a css what we have removed we have removed this double slash and the at the, the special symbols we have only removed now it became css let's see here okay we have to click this login button now just click inspect this one here a tag is button so copy this one control f okay slash slash button bracket open at the rate we are not using in css so not an issue we will take one attribute look like, uh, name i am taking here also okay name equals to its correspond value okay its correspond value so its correspond value is login so just put login okay okay sorry uh, double slash we are not using right yeah so you can see this is a css control c go to the editor again write driver dot dot find element okay by css selector okay syntax like make sure the syntax is very clear to you okay and then paste the value and what to do with this button we have to click on this button so dot click function okay yeah so let's see guys uh, we will run this one and see like how it behave okay just right click on the uh, this login page dot java our test case and then go to run as and then click on java application okay so what it will do it will open a facebook page it will uh, give email id password and click on submit button see this is a email id this is a password and you will click login button okay we have used this close now so after putting all this value the web browser automatically closed okay so for this one like this time i am just making as a comment okay and we will run it again so that we can see the error error message as well because we are using dummy uh, email id and password now so it will give an error let's see okay yeah so it has opened now it has given the email id it has given the password and it will click on login button so you can see here it is running okay so it has clicked on login page and we will get the text text like uh, email id is not correct okay is this your account okay not an issue but this is a dummy one yeah so you can get this one this message okay so we have to grab this text so we will see how to grab this text in the next lecture that's all in this video guys okay i hope you have clear about the id xpath and css okay so we will see the other attributes also other locators also in the next video so meanwhile subscribe this channel guys okay and we will see you in the next lecture thank you bye